It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world, only a banger home. How was your time in jail? Like, Wait. I mean, like you just gotta... how was you able to cope? Was it the people? Yeah. Praying? God, yeah. I never really um, got into that until jail. Mm hmm. But um, God is definitely real. There's been too many times out here I've experienced it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. So, Angel. Hmm. Okay, so you had a decent upbringing. Um, yeah. You're a late bloomer. Um, I never got your drug of choice. I know you're 15 days clean, but... Heroin. Well, fentanyl. Well, originally it was heroin, right? Yeah. Oh, that was so different than this. What's the difference from the heroin back then and the fentanyl now? This sounds crazy, but... I liked heroin. Like, you could actually feel good off it. Like... For a minute, like it looks like you're asleep, but you're not. You're just okay, and mm -hmm. you can get clean off of that, like in three or four days. And the the withdrawal is not that bad, but this here, I don't like it. It's you don't feel nothing. You just have to get well to feel like this, and you pay a lot for it. Mm -hmm. But you don't feel good. It's not a high. Yeah. And then some people just go to sleep. I don't go to sleep. I just don't feel nothing. Any and other addictions outside of drugs? Yeah, I did everything. I did crystal. Um, I didn't really like that hard. I used shot coke. Mm, that's it. A no, lot, and I did E. Okay. A lot of people that do hard, which is crack for those that don't know, mm -hmm. they said that's like an all-day high. They need it all day. It's a mental thing, yeah. Like, mm. it's not a physical. You're not going to get sick. Okay. But I think they're putting fentanyl on the hard, too. So. Oh, man. Yeah. Cause so you're going to get withdrawals regardless. Listen, when I'm this 15 days, I smoked mm -hmm. for two days, and I swear I felt withdrawal symptoms coming back after. Mm -hmm. So I think there's fentanyl in that. So I stopped that too. It's bad, but um, yeah, I think that's it, all I've ever done. Okay. So how you surviving here financially, like to make your money to survive out here, Angel, if you don't mind me asking. All right, well, Debo and stuff, or well, boosting. Debo and stuff, <laughs> that's a good line for it. Um, sometimes I clean people's houses. I don't do the whole dating thing because I love my husband too much. Well, and I, right. it's not for me. I'm not going to say anything bad about it. It's just not yeah. for me. I wouldn't do good. I respect I it. But um, mostly that, I help people around my neighborhood where I'm staying at. I stay in a bando. Okay. And, and the bando is an abandoned house mm -hmm. for those that don't know. Yeah. Is it is it electric ran in through there? He Yeah, I turn the electric one. Okay. Oh, so these bandos is actually not too bad. No, well, this one was bad. And I started, I cleaned up one room, went down the basement, turned the electric on. So the heater don't work, so I had to get little space heaters, fixed one up, fixed the bathroom up, and fixed another one up. Was your husband staying in the bando with you? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh but it's not good now. Like I can't stay there no more. I don't think I'm figuring it out today because the people that is on that block, yeah, they're trying to take over the whole block. None mm. of the houses are owned. Like people are just taking them. Who are the people? You know what I mean? I don't know. There's uh. all Spanish people. I'm not sure. Like, okay. But I know that they're related, so I feel like the whole family is trying to take the block. Yeah, like take it's the whole. whole. They're all family. Okay. But that's like the last house, so. Yeah. Oh man, uh, so it's getting a little it's getting a little tricky, right? Yeah. Yeah. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you guys. The link is in the description below.